welcome to our classic car and in this collection we're looking at 100 photos of classic rear engine and mid engine cars and to begin with we have UHS 687G which is a single chamois one of the fastback cars from May of 1969 That is followed by a rear three-quarter view of a PTU 116B registered Renault 8 Gordini from 1964. Actually got two photos of this car. This was at Alton Park. Very smart set of wheels on this particular car. And CB lamps on the front. Next up we have a Porsche 356 Coupe um, VRK3. This is actually a 356 Carrera Coupe from April of 1959, 1600cc engine in the back. That is followed by a classic Fiat 500. Very smart car, this was spotted at the Cape Salon Classic Car Show in 2021. To uh, Chumley Castle now, and we've got an X registration 1980 Renault Alpine A310 with a V6 engine in the tail. And the first of several VW Carmen gears to feature in this particular video. This one is from late 1971 or early 1972. Down to the NEC Classic Car Show and we have a Skoda here of the early 1980s. This is a stretched Skoda 120L, a limousine version with three doors down on either side. And here an Amphi car of the 1960s. This has a Triumph Herald engine hidden away in the rear of its hull. And to Bista next we've got YXG. 269. This is a Tatra Tatra Plan T600 from 1950 and has a flat 4 engine in the back. These were built from 1948 to 1952 and here we've got a pair of bay window VW campers. EBX945D is a 1966 registered Hillman Imp that has the 875cc engine in its tail. On a similar theme, we've got EYU897J, that's a Sunbeam Imp Sports, this one was put on the road in April of 1971. Three wheels on this wagon, this is an Invercar, the AC Invercar from 1976, engine in the back of that one of course. Somewhat different, but similar engine layout. This is a mid-engine Ferrari, Dino, uh, 246 Dino. Bit of a Group B rally weapon here. This is the Renault GT Turbo 2 of the early 1980s. The engine behind the front seats. The Lotus Europa is next in the livery of Gold Leaf Team Lotus, the sponsors of the team in the early 1970s, late 60s, early 70s. A rear three quarter view at Chumley Castle of a rare Fiat 850. This car is from 1968. You can see the cooling louvers on the rear deck lid there. Chumley, this was a pageant of power uh, quite a few years ago. When one straight eight engine isn't enough, we put another one in the tail. So thought Alfa Romeo back in the late 1930s with a BMO Torre. To the NEC again, we've got a VW Type 3. This is the Squareback, the estate version of the Type 3. The Porsche 914 in bright white is next. Here we have the RS200. This was Ford's uh, answer to the Group B rally regulations back in the 1980s. Another three-wheeler. We've got a BMW IZ this time. The engine's hanging out the back there, powering the rear wheel. This was in Portugal several years ago. We've got Fiat, or rather Seat, uh, 600s. We've got a trio of them here. Looking a little worse for wear, but maybe one of them did go on to be restored. 
who knows. We've got a Chevrolet here. This is a Corvair van with the engine hidden under the rear floor. Down to the Gaydon, the British Motor Museum. We've got one of the development cars for the Rover gas turbine program here. Back to Portugal and we spotted at the side of the road for sale behind the fence this Renault Dauphine. This beauty is an Alpine A110. I think this is one of the Spanish built cars. This was at the Cape Stone Hall Classic Car Show in 2021. Side view now of a Tatra T603. This had the air cooled V8 in the rear. Uh, this was photographed down at Bista Heritage. That's the NEC, and we've got TIG 2293. This is a rare Fiat 126 Jolly. Jolly good fun it looks too. To Cape Thorn again, we've got a 1965 VW Beetle here. This will be one of the six volt cars with these slopey headlights. Staying with VW for a moment, we've got a brown 1964 Type 3. This is the notchback version. A three box saloon. We've had the estate, and this is a saloon. One of several kit cars to feature in this particular video here. We've got the Titchy, which has a mini engine in the back. MCY372J is a Fiat 595S, a bath. A sporty version of the Fiat 500. Here we've had well, we've had the Corvair van, and here is the Corvair uh, convertible, uh, rear engine of course. Not the greatest photo, but an interesting vehicle. This is the twin-engine Citroen 2CV Sahara, four-wheel drive, one engine in the front, one engine in the back. Here we have a K registration 1971 Clan Crusader. to Porsche and we've got VKA 527 this is a 356A a right hand drive car this is used in historic rallying a fair bit there's plenty of photos online if you go onto Google Images and the three quarter view now of a sharp looking Fiat X19 this is a V-Reg car from 1979 later cars have much bigger chunkier bumpers on them and staying with X19s we've got this prototype a bath tuned Fiat X19 it certainly looks very purposeful with those uh, extra rear uh, arches and air intakes on the back, the wing and the air intake on the top there. VW here converted to the for the UK to Mongolia charity run back in 2017. Uh, if you know how well that went, uh, please pop a note in the comments. An invalid carriage next, XPD805. This is a 1955 Argson Deluxe invalid carriage. To 911. This is a Porsche 912 of 1965. Seen slowly disintegrating into the Portuguese undergrowth, we've got a Simca 1000 here, a little four door saloon, and Mini looking equally derelict behind it. Not the greatest photo, but a rare, rare vehicle. This is a Renault 4CV van. Continue with rear engine classics, we've got this wonderful lurid green coloured Lamborghini Miura. Mid engine, 4 litre V12 hiding in there. To the NEC, we've got another Skoda, G Reg Skoda from 1990. This is a 136 Rapid, demonstrating its front uh, boot area. An AC now, not a Cobra, but this is the AC 3000 ME mid engine car built in 79 to 1985. There's a Ford V6 in the back of that. First of two GTM kit cars now. A 
There's the second GTM. This is a Cox GTM, which means it's one of the very first ones. I think these were supplied in Hazel Grove near Stockport. This was obviously prepared for racing, this one in the late 1960s. Ferrari B registration. Uh, this is a Ferrari 308, I believe. This was at the Chumley uh, Classic Car Show quite a few years ago, in the mid 2000s, I think this was. Another Carmen gear, this time a convertible right hand drive car at Cape Thorn Hall. Fantastic split window VW next. I had a choice of several to feature and I thought I'd use this photo of a van in the livery of AFN Limited, the Porsche supplier back in the 1960s and I think the 1970s. And to the Haynes Motor Museum we got a J-Reg Ginetta G15 next. These were built from 68 to 1974. It's got the 875cc Hillman Imp engine in the back. The Tommaso Pantera GT5S shows its engine bay here down at the NEC. Over to Bista and we've got a 65 Renault 8 Gordini, another example of the tuned up Renault 8 here being demonstrated. Also at Bista I think we've got 166 MPH, this is a mid-engine Maserati Bora, these were built from 1971 to 1978. Still plenty of rear engine and mid-engine cars to go. Uh, another Skoda Rapid here. This is a two-door coupe. And this wonderful little car seen here from the rear is a uh, Gordini-tuned Renault Dauphine. Beautiful little car, spoked wheels certain mods on it which uh, differentiates it from the normal Dauphines. Here we've got a Lamborghini Countach, this is a Prescott, this is the car that belongs to Harry Metcalf of Harry's Garage fame, I think that's his Testarossa alongside. Back to the NEC and we've got an early-ish 911 Targa here. to MGs now. These are both MGTFs. Uh, previously they were called the MGF, mid-engine car with the uh, K-series engine. Next up, a Mark 1 version of the very popular Toyota MR2. This was at the NEC on the Toyota Club stand. Three six eight XVN. That's a VW Beetle, of course. Twelve hundred CC car, registered in January of nineteen fifty nine. This fine-looking machine is a Unipower GT. Uh, mini engine in the back. Uh, windscreen surround appears to be Mark One to Mark Three Triumph Spitfire. Two photos now of a very smart VW fifteen hundred. Uh, this is a Carmen Gear Type 34, 1500cc, the Razor Edge car as it tended to be known. Uh, gear design but built by Carmen. You can see where the Razor Edge design uh, nickname came from. Very 007 is this brown Lotus Esprit Turbo of the early 1980s. Complete with skis on the roof. This interesting little car, EGU698H, that's a Fiat Abarth 1000 Grand Prix. The Rimva car, this one's slightly earlier from about 1966, judging by the registration. This was at a steam rally in the mid 2000s. Oldest in this collection of photographs is this 1900 Albion engine hidden away at the back there under the seat. The trio of Metro 6R4s is next. These were developed with uh, Group B rallying in mind but they never really lasted long enough to be fulfilled their potential if you like. The rear three quarter view of a K registration VW Beetle convertible here. This is proper Carmen conversion. You can tell that by the properly framed windows and the squared off quarter lights. We spotted this in Portugal several years ago. This is a rear-engined BMW 700. Quite a rare survivor, hopefully it went on to be restored. 
back to gas turbines and this is the very famous Rover BRM the French gem now F43 RTP this is a 1989 Renault GTA V6 turbo there's a DeLorean in the background there as well the Heinkel cabine bubble car is next Two photos now of the wonderful Mercedes W23 130 uh, this is a small rear engine car these were built from 1934 to 1936 and this is a very rare survivor there's the uh, rear mounted four cylinder engine back to the Skoda club stand and we've got B94WKN a cabriolet version the rear three-quarter view now of a 911 Carrera e registration so it was like 1987 or thereabouts this was at the Chumley classic car show ATL 533A is a Fiat 500 Jardiniera the estate version of the Fiat 500 great little car that is left-hand drive Another Porsche 914. This was in the classic auction area at the NEC, I think, in 2021. Back to the Skoda stand one more time. This is a bright red Skoda 1000 MBX G registration, so 1968. And the Renault 5 Turbo 2, again in the auction area alongside the Jensen Interceptor. Maroon Renault Dauphine is next, left hand drive. Ferrari F40 is next, a 2.9 litre twin turbo V8 hiding away in there, 471 brake horsepower. Peugeot 205 T16 Group B rally car is shown here, this was at Cywell. The original Fiat Multipler, this is the Fiat 600 Multipler, fantastic little car. To Goodwood Revival back in 2006, and this is the intriguing little Subaru 360, it dates to 1964. There's a 356cc twin engine, a twin cylinder engine hiding away in the back of that one. Here's a DeLorean. Back to Portugal for a moment, we've got a very rusty, derelict looking Skoda 1100 MB parked up here. Back to that 2006 Goodwood Revival, we've got MSU 936, this is an IOTA Sports 350cc. A rear engine little sports car, very few of these were made, I'm not sure there's any more of these surviving apart from that one. GKW is next, that's a 1974 VW 412 LS. Tucked away in the Goodwood park, car park one evening was this bright yellow Matra Bonnet G D Jet, or Jet, I believe it's called. Down at the Haynes Motor Museum, they've got this fantastic example of a Renault Caravelle on display. To Portugal, and we found this 1943 VW Kubelwagen army vehicle hidden away in the museum that they have there. In the same museum, they have this interesting pair. We've got a Lancia Stratos in the foreground, and a BMW M1 beyond that, and a Countach beyond that. Almost finished now. Haynes Motor Museum, and this fantastic grey example of a rear engined Renault 4 CV. And 
rounding everything off is this somewhat modified drag racing version of a Fiat 126. And that little Fiat rounds out this collection of 100 photographs of classic rear-engined and mid-engined cars. I hope that was of interest. Please take a look around the rest of the channel while you're here, because there's plenty going on now. There'll be more videos along very, very soon, so bye for now.